2007's Shamo from Dog Bite the Dog director Soi Cheng, who also directed one of my personal favorites, uh, Diamond Hill. Shamo is based on the Japanese action manga authored by Itsu Hashimoto, and it concerns the characters of Ryu Narishima, played by Shon Yu, who one day out of the blue murders his parents. Since he's under the age of 18, he does get a prison sentence, but it only lasts two years. And during this time of abuse, he is taught karate by no-nonsense, hard-assed master Kenji Kurokawa, played by Francis Ng. And when eventually Ryu is out, he begins searching for his lost sister, but is drawn more to the status of the lethal fight boxing uh, tournament. And all this all happens while his sidekicks and only friends in life, among others, an equally lost prostitute played very well by Anne Liu, stands by his side. This combination of darkness and martial arts obviously means Hong Kong cinema and specifically rightly hyped director Soi Chan can get involved in some shape or form. Structurally though, one can see where he was aiming, but the movie ultimately is divided in thirds. Two of them are quite vicious, literally hard hitting, but merely a non-engaging summary of what can be read on Wikipedia anyway about the original comic. And while, while the last third is quite close to a demo reel for Soi Chang, as he invites us into a downbeat explanation of violation, righteousness, and these con the consequences of all that, uh, turning that that turns good characters onto the road to nowhere. Uh, the director neatly avoids a category three rating, despite all this darkness, by confidently treating his violence head on without the aid of over-the-top gore, or he's merely giving us uh, glimpses of the aftermaths. Uh, and as he starts to portray this sucky world, this sucky world to the max, where selfishness rules supreme, it has the imagery of animal closing in, animals closing in on Rio, and Rio is basically a child about to turn animalistic, therefore. So, so does this introduction of the mysterious Francis mm, Sifo tell us that someone will, will bring light into Ryu's life? And, and I'm quite glad there's a mystery surrounding all this after all is said and done. But Shamo plays out without much dedication towards anything but the story beats in, needs, in need to be ticked off. In the two first thirds, in other words. But as Chan closes in on the final 20-30 minutes, uh, where we see Ryo accepting uh, accepting that to be on the winning side, you need to sacrifice your soul, basically. This emotional core between him and his sister grows quite immensely. So, the combo of a tuned visual sense by Soi Chang, uh, Jack Long's very effective action choreography, especially in the boxing scenes, and actor lead Sean Yu never veering away from any of the rigors his, characters, his character needs to be put through. This all makes Shamo take on a watchable nature eventually. Without the last 20-30 minutes, Wikipedia will help you enough in understanding the plight of the character of Ryo Narashima. Without director Soi Chang, we wouldn't have been affected by it so late in the game.